Hello beautiful souls. I am back with a third channeling from the origins. This time um, it came from a query that someone asked. So I will um, jump right in but just before I wanted to remind you to only take what resonates with you and uh, receive this in an intention of opening up to higher frequencies of consciousness and greater understanding of the life experience. The query was, do intelligent civilizations have an objective of self-destruction? In a world and reality of infinite possibilities, that is one possible. Yet we must clarify many particular points with you. First and foremost, the meaning and purpose of creation is to put together a new experience, different from the Creator, yet reflecting it in some way, so that he may understand better what he himself is, meaning a Creator of creations and a created creation. He may then experience himself also, separate from the creation, yet connected. It is part of the growth and learning process of physical beings. Civilizations are no different. They are creations of bigger systems that have evolved into their own intelligence and joined collectively. Now, we must speak of the word intelligence. It seems in your query that you bring it up as something separate than the, indivi than the individual, than what you call spirituality than what you call civilization. It is not. Intelligence is awareness, it is choices, it is consciousness itself, it is recognition of self, it is like all things, fractal and layered. Yet nowhere does intelligence dictate determination of a creation. Your awareness may choose to depart your physical vessel, yet it does not cease to exist, neither does the physical vessel, it is simply transformed into another creation that will bring a different experience and that will carry the imprint of your passage and presence. Nothing is created for entropy, disconnection or its destruction. Everything is created for the experience of creation and for experiencing being this creation. Some are short-lived, that was their experience. Others are everlasting, others have a choice, and others don't. It is all experience. Creation, by default, brings into form something that previously was not. However connected or disconnected it thinks or feels itself to be from the source of its creation is totally irrelevant to the truth as it is a lens of experience when, in energy terms, it is always the same, just amplified, modified, presented differently and in a different environment, yet pure energy nonetheless. In your video games, the characters don't truly exist in your reality. They play and die. They are electric currents and flashes of light just like their environment. That is what you are too, indifferent fractal of complexity, yet still the same. Some characters experience war and destruction, some creation and growth, others race cars. All manners of journeys and experiences are available, not solely that of destruction. There is no inevitability of destruction. There is only the experience of the creation, in that case, the civilization. Spirituality, in the same way, is an opening to the creator source. It is not by default competing with intelligence. Only in your mind, if you have deemed it so, and your reality shall reflect that back to you. It is up to the collective choice as well as the individual, whether you choose, as a civilization, to endure or whether you are ready to leave and terminate this experience and be in awareness in a different being or begin a completely altogether different experience. Nothing is finite or determined. 
everything connected at all times, whether the connection is felt and conscious or not. We have been pleased to answer this query for you. We are the origins.